and welcome to the English news at this moment. This is Rashmi here with you. Before moving to the details, let us have a look at the day's headlines. Questions have been raised on Modi's concept of Atmanirbhar Bharat when he announced defense sector to be open for the private players. Congress to launch Speak Up movement once again, this time for the sake of students with a massive online campaign Speak Up for the Students' Safety on Friday. RBI report confirmed that economy is expected to contract for the first time ever and will take quite some time to revive. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi attacked the Modi government over interest on deferred loan payments and asked why it gave benefits to big businesses. Now the news in details, self-reliant India after Modi announced defense sector to be open for private players, questions have been raised on his concept of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vocal for local slogan for Atmanirbhar Bharat becomes a big joke to the critics when on Thursday he himself said that a decision has been taken to permit up to 74% FDI in the defense manufacturing through automatic growth. He also said efforts been made to boost defense production, develop new technology and give big role to private players in the defense sector. He was speaking at the Lokhid Marking Society of the Indian Defence Manufacturers Suppliers Conference. Beside this, in a notification, Defence Ministry said that the second draft of the Defence Procurement Procedure DPP 2020 now has been renamed as the Defence Acquisition Procedure DAP 2020 was put out in the public domain on Tuesday for comments from the stakeholders and public. Bureau Report, Halabol. Congress to launch speak up movement once again, this time in the sake of the students with a massive online campaign speak up for the students safety on Friday that is 28th of August. This decision came up following the escalating concern of the students and parents all over the country to postpone the JEE and NEET exams during the rising crisis of COVID-19 in India. The Congress party decided to organize massive nationwide online campaign speak up for student safety on Friday that is 28th of August 2020 from 10 a.m. in the morning. AICC General Secretary Organization KC Venugopal issued a letter urging all the Pradesh Congress committees to hold protests on Friday at 11 a.m. in front of the central government offices at the state and district headquarters against the decision of the BJP government to hold the JEE and NEET exams during the pandemic. Requesting all the PCCs to instruct the office bearers, MPs, MLAs or MLCs to raise the demand of postponement of JEE and NEET examinations via videos or posts on any social media platform. KC Venugopal urged all the PCCs to conduct the protest gatherings while maintaining the COVID-19 social distancing protocols. This decision of the AICC came after Thursday after the Congress High Command Sonia Gandhi had a virtual meeting related to the matter with the Chief Ministers of seven states on Wednesday. Also, because of the escalating demand from the students and guardians across the country to postpone the exams due to COVID-19 crisis, the Congress came up with the decision to wake up the sleeping BJP government. Bureau Report, Halabol. Rahul Gandhi's warnings have been confirmed at last after the annual report 2019-20 of the RBI came in. The RBI confirmed in its report that the economy is expected to contract for the first time ever and will take quite some time to revive. Along with the hashtag RBI calls out BJP Shem, Congress fired flash salvos at the Modi-led BJP government. The Congress pointed out at the latest RBI reports that said to have exposed the ill-thought policies and mismanagement of the Modi government which are destroying the Indian economy. 
with the headline consumption shock severe economic recovery will take longer poorest hit the hardest rbi said the private consumption has lost its discretionary elements across the board particularly transport services hospitality recreation and cultural activities in its annual report 2019-20 The RBI report added that economy is expected to contract for the first time ever and will take quite some time to mend and regain. RBI also said that high frequency indicators so far point to a retrenchment in activity that is unprecedented in the history. The RBI report thereby confirmed what Sri Rahul Gandhi has been warning for months. But the coming Modi government failed to listen and is either silent on critical issues or using media to divert their attention. Rahul Gandhi said this while adding that the Modi government has no plan to revive the economy. Bureau report. Halabol. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi attacked the Modi government over its interest on deferred loan payments and asked why it gave benefits to the big businesses and set aside the interest of the middle class. Thursday, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi attacked the Modi government over interest on deferred loan payments and asked why it gave tax benefits of Rs 1.45 lakh crore to the businesses but did not waive interest on loans for the middle class. In a tweet on Thursday, Rahul Gandhi wrote 1.45 lakh crore tax cut benefit given to big businesses but no interest waiver on loans for middle class and dubbed the Modi government of being a suit boot ki sarkar. He also tagged a news report stating that the Supreme Court slammed the center and asked it to clarify its stand on charging of interest on deferred loan payments. On the other side, the Supreme Court on Wednesday said that the center is hiding behind the RBI and asked it to reply within a week on the issue of interest being charged on the installments which have been deferred under the central bank scheme during the moratorium period amid the COVID-19 lockdown. Bureau report, Halabol. Balaji Healthcare Services distributed 1000 masks and around 300 sanitizers to the needy people through Purvodaya's outlets Heart of Humanity General Secretary Purvodaya Niti Deb expressed immense satisfaction towards the response of the common people for their innovative venture Heart of Humanity Thursday, Balaji Healthcare Agartala distributed masks and sanitizers which are utmost important necessities in these crucial days of COVID pandemic through Purvodaya's Agartala outlets, Heart of Humanity. Around 1,000 masks and 300 sanitizers have been distributed to the distressed and needy people. Along with these, packets of biscuits were also distributed. Purvodaya General Secretary and renowned social worker and wife of Tripura CM Biplap Kumar Dev expressed heartfelt gratitude towards the noble deed that Balaji Healthcare came up with. हेल्थ केयर है उनका उनकी तरफ से हार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी के तीनों आउटलेट पे 1000 मास्क 100 सैनिटाइजर की बॉटल्स और बिस्किट्स उन्होंने दिए हैं जिसको हमने हम चाहते हैं कि हम डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों को मास्क मिले सैनिटाइजर मिले ताकि कैसे जैसे क्योंकि क्राउड में कोरोना स्प्रेड हो रहा है इसका एक ही Nitidev also expressed immense happiness while she said she is touched with the positive response that she got from the Agatala outlet's Heart of Humanity. She also expressed her wish to take this innovative venture to all the districts of the state that would help in benefiting the needy people all over the state. Nitidev also urged the people of the state to come forward and try to help the people according to their capacity. Bureau Report, Halabol. Well, that's all from the English desk at this moment. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Halabol.